Welcome to CIS 120DC, a course in Adobe Flash. This is level one focusing on digital animation, and I'm your instructor, Stephen Hustedy. Most students just call me Mr. H. This is the first of three Flash courses that we offer here at South Mountain Community College. In this course, you will focus on learning to draw in Flash, creating animation, and we'll do some basic interactivity with its built-in language called ActionScript. The second level course, 220DC, focuses on ActionScript and interactivity. And then we're introducing a third class, which right now is CIS 280 or IND 180. Those are both temporary numbers. We'll have a permanent number um, available next year. And this course focuses on using Flash for app development in conjunction with another Adobe product called Adobe Air. And we can create apps for iPhone or iPad or Android or Blackberry or several other platforms. This course, along with Illustrator and Photoshop, comprises a Certificate of Completion, or CCL, in Adobe Fundamentals. It's just a nine credit CCL. And so if you've already taken Illustrator or Photoshop or are taking those concurrently, you should apply this semester uh, for this CCL. Those three courses are also part of our web and graphic design program, in which we have both a CCL and an associate's degree. Those same three courses are also part of two larger CCLs in Adobe. One is Adobe Print and Web Specialist. The other one is an Adobe Production Specialist, which focuses more on the video end of creativity. And Flash is also part of our Adobe Air Development CCL. That's a new certificate we're offering. And that CCL is part of our Web App Publishing Associates degree. In addition, Flash can be used as an elective in our Programming and Analysis Certificate and degree or other IT degrees. As you begin the course, you want to make sure that you carefully and thoroughly read through the syllabus. In the syllabus, you will find information on how to contact me, what my office hours are, what the outcomes and objectives are for the course, what resources you require to complete the course, including the textbook, how I grade, your responsibility to withdraw if you so choose, the hours of our Computing Commons Lab, contact information for disability resources. We will have tutors available and those hours and schedule will be forthcoming. Information on academic conduct and the course schedule. There are three large umbrella outcomes for this course. The first is to be able to draw vectored images with flash. Now while you can create technical drawings such as this one, we're going to primarily focus in on doing more cartoon type drawings. When you think of animation, we typically think of, of cartooning. Here are a bunch of things that I've drawn in Flash. So you can see characters, objects, so forth. Here's a collection of dogs for uh, a game I was creating called The Pound. I've even created posters that are three feet by four feet in Flash. This was one we did for our uh, Higher Learning Academy in Chicago. And I've also used Flash to illustrate process flow. Secondly, we'll learn to animate with Flash. <laughs> Also learn to create interactive programs with Flash. There's some very basic uh, coding in ActionScript. This was a game I created for a textbook ancillary. It was a phys physical fitness textbook. And the author wanted a Wheel of Fortune type game. So I thought, what well, could be better to use than bicycle wheels for this particular game, or bicycle theme? So we can set up the game. We can have three teams. Uh, we could put in names for each team. So we might just simply call this the yellow team. 
and we can choose whether the rider is going to be male or female. And then there's also a dometer setting. So instead of, of getting dollars, you're collecting kilometers in this game. The puzzles that are presented in this game are tied to different chapters of the, of the textbook. And we can also choose whether or not to show exercises that the student has to perform before answering a particular or choosing a letter of the puzzle. I'm going to go ahead and just return to the game. And first thing we're going to do is set up a new game. And so it's drawing a phrase out of the, of the textbook. And the first team, Team Yellow, is up. They would pedal. They would first have to do some type of exercise. And in this case, they, they're bankrupt. We have, they're restarting the race. Now goes to the blue team. Notice the player automatically changed to the blue jersey. In this case, it's female. We're going to pedal. They have to do an exercise. Click Finish. And they're going to get 50 kilometers, and let's say they choose T. There are three T's, they get 150 kilometers in this heat. This will keep track of multiple games played between the teams, if you wish. They could then pedal again, complete their exercise, and maybe this time they'll choose an R. They can choose to buy a vowel, such as an E, it's going to deduct 25 kilometers from them. And they would keep playing the game this way until somebody solved the puzzle. This is all done in Flash and coded in ActionScript. This is another one for the same author. And this is called The Ascent of Mount Fitness. And again, questions are going to be pulled from the different chapters. We can choose a gender of the climber. I'm going to turn off no exercises or not showing exercises on this one. And we'll play. So in this game, it's a multiple choice. We get a question. The ability of your body's systems to work together efficiently is. And we have four rocks to choose from. Endurance, physical fitness, body composition, and cardiovascular fitness. We would choose a rock that we think is the correct answer. And if it's correct, the mountain climber climbs a little bit further up the mountain. We have to get 10, 10 straight answers to make it to the top. What is the minimum amount of vigorous activity that experts say a teenager should do? So we're climbing a little higher up in the mountain. If, however, I choose a wrong answer, which of the following is not one of the five parts of health-related fitness? If I chose body composition, he falls off the mountain. And we have to start back over at the, at the bottom and climb up. Again, we need 10 straight to make it to the top. When the climber gets to the top, they plant a little flag that says they made it to the top. Again, all done in Flash. The questions are being drawn randomly from an XML database. Most of your online games and interactive websites traditionally have been created with Adobe Flash, which the video you see on the website is Flash encoded. And some of that is changing now with HTML5 and CSS3 and JavaScript largely because Flash content does not work on the iPhone, iPad as presented over the internet. There are ways to get Flash content directly on an iPhone, iPad, but internet-based is no longer one of them. In this course, we'll be using Canvas. Canvas is a content management system. All of your assignments, all of your uh, course materials, as far as instructions, videos, so forth, will all be presented through Canvas. Here is the address for Canvas. It's learn.maricopa.edu. And you will need your MEID and password, your Maricopa Enterprise ID, and a password. And if you don't know what those are or have not set those up, there is the web address for doing so. In Canvas, you'll see a menu system over here on the left. And you will see that there is the syllabus. Assignments are here. Your grades will be posted here. And then there is a section for modules, which is going to present your week by week information. So here in the modules, we have two weeks showing, week one and week two. Each week, you will view the instructions, watch some online videos. Those will be videos either that I create or that I find on the internet that somebody else has created that's suitable for this course. You will read the instructor's lectures notes or handouts that I make available. Those are usually in PDF format. You might follow a step-by-step -step online tutorial that I've created, visit other web pages to examine examples, and you'll complete an assignment usually each week 
uh, might be a lab from the textbook, might be a lab that I've developed, or it may be a major project to work on over several weeks. To get started in the course this first week, you should read the syllabus and all the materials in the Get Started module of Canvas. And then you must complete the syllabus checklist by midnight Wednesday of this week, or you'll be dropped from the course as a no-show. That checklist will take you about 10 minutes. It's simply acknowledging that you've gone through the materials. And I'm also going to have a little bit of survey there, some information I want to gather from you in terms of your experience and so forth. This is in keeping with our district and, and school policies for attendance for that first week. So with that, I invite you to simply go into Canvas and dive in, begin exploring and looking around, and be sure to complete this module by this Wednesday. What we'll do this first week, in addition to the syllabus, is explore traditional animation and how Walt Disney made films 60 years ago and how that translates into the process we use in digital animation with Adobe Flash. Adobe Flash is really all modeled around the process that traditional animators used. Your first graded assignment will be due the second week.